guys, so it's the third day of Veda and I've already relocated back to the floor and I'm wearing my hat again because I have not had a haircut in a while and my hair looks awful. Um, also, waited till the sun started going down to film this because I'm just terrible and procrastinate with everything. Um, so yeah, today <laughs> I'm gonna talk about my best friend Katie because she's been consistently demanding this video for literally a year. Um, and I figured if I get out of the way in the first week of VEDA, then she can just shut up about it and never bother me about it again. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And you might not care about this video, which is like fine. Um, but, you know, if you want to make it hashtag relatable, you could just like call it like things to look for in a best friend, I guess. Because this is just going to be like a bunch of validation for a few minutes for Katie, even though she denies it whenever she gets it. She's getting it anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, Katie is easily one of the most amazing and talented and warm people, despite her internet persona as the emotionless bitch. Um, she's really not, and, um, yeah, I just really love her, and, um, I guess, like, one of my favorite things about our friendship is that, um, like, I can be myself with her, and even when it's not the most, like, presentable and flattering parts of myself, I know that I can still be that with her, because she has seen me, like, at my worst, and she knows things about myself that I don't like about myself. And we've just known each other for, like, long enough and, like, genuinely enough to be open with each other and not have to hide parts of ourselves, I guess. And, um, yeah, so she's seen me, like, be oversensitive and hyper-emotional and just screaming constantly. Like, if you think you know how much I'm screaming all the time, then just maximize that by, like, 50, and that's, like, what Katie deals with. Um, and she never, like, makes me feel guilty for being that way, and she always reassures me that it's okay that I am an oversensitive and hyper-emotional person, um, and I don't I don't feel like that's a bad thing with her, and that's, like, I think an important part of any friendship is, like, not feeling awful about yourself. Um, yeah. And, um, I guess, like, a unique thing about our friendship that I realized is that she kind of, because I care so much about her and because I think so highly of her, I make myself better, um, in a lot of different ways. Um, one, because she, like, actually just makes me a better person, which she knows. Um, and also because, like, I want to be a good friend, and what kind of pushes me to do that is that I feel like she deserves a really good friend, and that makes me want to be that for her because I just, like, want to make sure that she has that, because she deserves, like, so much love in her life, because she's wonderful. And this is so cheesy, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that kind of, like, makes me at least try to be a better friend, and that's good. That's, like, a good thing, and, um, yeah, and she just makes me feel, like, really safe all the time. And she helps me through, like, so much stuff. <laughs> and um, even when I'm being, like, ridiculous, she's, like, still there and still supportive of me. And, yeah, she's just a wonderful person, if you haven't put that together yet. And I love her so much. And I'm going to get to meet her this summer for the first time because we've never met, which is also a very unique thing. Because I've, like, never been this close to someone without meeting them first. Um... And it's just, like, interesting because we've never actually hung out yet, but we're going to, and that's, like, really exciting, and, like, I'm really happy that's gonna happen. And, yeah, 
I feel like this has been long enough. I hope this is sufficient for you, Katie. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. So thanks for watching, if you did, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.